and welcome to our ONTV Fish Food Drive cooking segment. I'm Joe Johnson. I'm here with Ian Witherspoon. Howdy. You may recognize him from such shows as Between Terramines. Oh, I feel like the young kids would maybe uh, not know about that show anymore. It's been a while. <laughs> well, we got to get you back in here. Absolutely. Get some new uh, episodes recorded. Uh, so we have a recipe we're going to share with you today. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of Super Bowl food. Oh yeah. I love Super Bowl food. My family, we have recipes for a seven layer nacho dip, Ooh. which is always out of this world. Swedish meatballs are always, a, a, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, and one of my personal favorites, buffalo chicken dip. Mm -hmm. And I've made that before and it's really, really tasty. And you oh, can yeah. eat that with nachos or crackers or whatever. Um, by the spoonful? Uh, if by the spoonful, if that's uh, how you roll. What we're going to do today, I don't know if this is uh, something you would normally consider as Super Bowl food, but I think it would go very, very well if you were to serve this at your Super Bowl party, which is coming up soon. Um, so what we have here, this is a uh, longtime uh, recipe that I got years and years and years ago off of a Campbell soup can. I don't know. Have you ever done that? Have you ever seen some of those recipes they have on the Campbell Soup? Certainly. Can? Absolutely. Yeah. So the ingredients that you're going to need for this is chicken. Now you can either get fresh chicken breasts and grill them up. Uh, some people may boil it, whatever your preference is. But uh, I got some pre-cooked chicken out of the uh, frozen section of the uh, grocery store. Uh, so you're going to need some diced or uh, cut up chicken. That's going to be the bottom layer. You are then going to cover that chicken with your choice of a Campbell cream soup. Now, when I was at the grocery store earlier, man, I saw all kinds of oh, cream yeah. soups. There's cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream of chicken. This one has herbs in it. There's low fat. There's low salt. There's all kinds to choose from. So I think you can choose whatever cream soup is to your taste. As long as it has a lot of fat and a lot of salt, <laughs> exactly. I'll take it. It's gonna. This recipe will take a year off your life, but it's worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. So I brought. I got four cans. Uh, we'll just use enough to cover the chicken on the bottom. Then on top of that, we have some Velveeta cheese. We're gonna. Uh, when I made this last time, I bought that block of Velveeta oh. cheese and sliced it. I thought it might be a little easier to do the uh, the individual wrapped Velveeta cheese slices. So that's going to form a layer over the, the, the base. And then the paste de resistance, the stove top stuffing uh, will be the final layer that'll go over the top of this dish. Somebody referred to it the other day as a casserole, which I never really thought about, but I guess it qualifies as a casserole. Sure. Um, and so the first time I made this, my knees buckled. It was so tasty, so good. Uh, so we're going to share the recipe with you today and go through the motions. Uh, we're going to throw it in the oven and pull it out and see how it goes. All right. All right. Let's dive so in. I think the, the first thing that probably will take the most time is making the stuffing. And so, you know, the recipe or the directions for the stuffing is on the side of the box, of course. So what you need is a uh, cup and a half of water, correct? That is correct. So we put a cup and a half of water into this, uh, this uh, saucepan. Uh, we're going to get that to boiling. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of margarine or butter. We have margarine with us. Why don't you go ahead and squirt in there about a quarter cup of margarine into the saucepan while I get the stovetop chicken stuffing. I went with the chicken stuffing today. Ooh. All right. Quarter cup. And quarter to quarter and so, half, right? <laughs> you go. The more butter, the better. And so we're going to let that come to a boil, and yep. then we'll add the dry contents of this envelope into the saucepan, and then let that simmer for a little bit. And so while we're waiting for that to boil, next up, we're going to take our pre-cooked chicken. I don't know. I, you know, I'm a single guy, and I don't like to wait for anything. And so when I'm home and I'm hungry, I want to turn something around as quickly as possible. So I have a tendency to buy pre-cooked items. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's my personal preference. So well, when you're hungry, you don't want to wait. Exactly. You know, I see recipes where they're like, you know, put it in the oven for 
an hour. And I'm like, an hour? I don't want to <laughs> eat an hour from now. I want to eat now. So we got some pre-cooked chicken here. It was frozen. I had it sitting in the uh, fridge for a little while, so it should start thawing out. But we'll dump that onto the bottom. Oh, Ooh, that's a lot of chicken. Yeah, baby. Man. Chicken, so. butter. <laughs> this is shaping up already. Oh, that! I don't think we're going to need this second one. That looks like well, it filled up that saucepan pretty good. Now, someone was asking me earlier, didn't you bring a bigger uh, baking dish? And I'm like, I'm a single guy. I cook for myself. So I have sort of this singles guy baking dish. But obviously, if you're going to be making this for your Super Bowl party, you're going to want to do something a little bigger. So maybe you will go through uh, two bags of chicken. So next up, in if you want to get to start popping these uh, cans open, yeah. you do that one. I'll do this one. And our goal is to... Um, we want to cover the chicken. So I don't have any fingernails, so I'm going to grab a knife to pop this open. Old chef's trick. There you go. And let's cover up that chicken with the cream soup. Oh, yeah. May Man. I use a spoon to sure. distribute a little bit? Spread that around. All right. Maybe one more can? Yeah, I think that's going to need at least one more can. And you might want to mix it up and get oh, it in there. Oh, so really, really get it going. Let's do a third can while you're mixing that up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Chicken and cream of chicken. Got to love yeah, it. Yeah, now, you know, the original recipe called for cream of mushroom, mm. which isn't bad I, I don't dislike cream of mushroom as a matter of fact i use cream of mushroom when i make swedish meatballs which Ooh, is really really good um but i don't know I, I i decided to make it with cream of chicken this particular brand has herbs in it and yeah. uh it was really really tasty so like i said there's all kinds of cream soups to choose from at the grocery store just pick what makes you happy um, I don't go. think we're going to need that fourth can. That's looking pretty darn coated, isn't it? It does. It does. Looks great. That looks fantastic. All right. Our pot is getting close to boiling. Do we need that to be like roiling or? Well, if we do yeah. that, just speed up the process All right. a little bit. So we'll cover that and let that get up to uh, bubbling. Next step here is to cover this layer with cheese all right so get to unwrapping these slices definitely easier than shredding your own hunk of cheese huh? <laughs> all right yeah i like just layering the slices of cheese on there oh yeah so uh at the time that we're shooting this the uh we just went through the first round the wild card weekend of the nfl playoffs and uh, some pretty entertaining games. Uh, <laughs> Ian, why don't we why don't we jump to the Super Bowl? Since Super Bowl will be airing after the food drive, the weekend after the food drive. What is your prediction for the Super Bowl? Who is going to reach the big game? I really think it's the 49ers. Uh, mm -hmm. from the NFC. They sure look solid, even even with their rookie quarterback. Right, right. Um, the AFC is tough because you got a lot of talented quarterbacks in that league or mm -hmm. that conference. Uh, should we do one more here? Let's cover that whole All thing. Right. Um, so, I, man, I, uh, with Kansas City being the number one uh, seed, I feel like Everything runs through KC, and it's going to be hard to beat them in their barn. The Bengals did it last year, um, which was crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening again. Though. I yeah. think it's going to be a, another San Fran KC uh, rematch from a few years back. We are on the same page. That is my prediction. All right, so the the pot, the water, the margarine here is uh, bubbling over. Do you want to yeah, let's mix bit. that up a little bit, and then we're going to add... The dry contents of the envelope. I love stovetop stuffing, even though when you know when I get together with family around the holidays, you know homemade stuff is pretty darn good. But again, for me personally, speed is of the essence. So uh, I really love me some stovetop stuffing. Do you ever eat so. <laughs> with stuffing before cooking it? No. <laughs> if you're really in a hurry, you can just crack up a bag of that. And it's uh, it's flavored croutons is what it is. So it's it's pretty good. 
All right, so we can turn off the burner, let that do its thing. All right, so we got our chicken, we got our soup, we got our layer of Velveeta. If you think that stuffing is ready to go, we, we let's put a layer of the stuffing on top. Now listen, I believe it said five minutes. Oh, right. let it sit for yep. five minutes. I think we okay. gotta wait five minutes. All right, so um, we'll let that. So we were talking about a KC San Fran Super Bowl. That's yeah. my prediction. Uh, Mahomes, his he's been a one man band. I mean, I don't want to, you know, disparage the players around him, but he has single handedly taken games. Uh, taking control of games and has won games when they when they're looking at a third and fifteen, he tucks the ball and runs it and gets the first down. Right. He's been incredible. I think he's been uh, a top candidate for league MVP. Sure. Uh, he's been fantastic. He's surrounded by talent. Brock Purdy, you know, last pick of the draft, the twenty two draft, uh, third quarterback to come in this season, and he looks like a seasoned veteran, especially in the round. Uh, the wild card weekend, uh, he looked amazing. Threw three touchdowns, ran uh, the quarterback sneak for a touchdown, and handed uh, the Seattle uh, Seahawks a humiliating loss. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, they end up facing the Eagles. Uh, but I, I think the way San Fran is playing with the addition of um, um, McCaffrey, right. uh, they're going to be hard to beat. So it's going to be an entertaining Super Bowl, I hope. And if you recall, earlier in the year, uh, I believe it was in San Francisco, KC played San Fran mm-hmm. earlier, and they whooped them. Kansas yeah. City whooped San Fran. Yeah. I don't see that happening again. No, it's not. I think it's going to be a really good game. I'm hoping for a shootout. Uh, I think it's going to be really, really entertaining. I think it's a 49ers year. Is it? To, go, uh, to be on their third-string quarterback and not lose a step. Yeah. They're just a juggernaut, and they've been so close. All right. So that's year. where we differ because I think it's the Chiefs' year. I think the Chiefs are going to just march through the playoffs, reach the Super Bowl, and come out uh, with a narrow victory over the Niners. So, Is any fatigue setting in for you with Kansas City, or do you enjoy watching them? I enjoy watching them. The they are entertaining. I'm an offense guy. Like I know that, that their defense has been criticized a little bit. I like a lot of offense. Uh, I like seeing points on the board. So Kansas sure. City can put up points with the best of them. They are entertaining. I'm just tired of some of the antics. The last <laughs> week of the year when they played the Raiders and they did that ring around the Rosie Huddle that deal. That was interesting. It's so cocky and arrogant. <laughs> it's just, I wish, you know. I, I respect Mahomes, though. You can, I mean, yeah. probably the most talented quarterback yeah. I've ever seen. He, you know, he has one uh, ring under his belt. This could be a second one. And uh, he keeps us up. He's a shoe in for the Hall of Fame, I think. So. They better hope they don't run into the Bengals, though, <laughs> because uh, they seem to be his his personal kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. You think that's ready? I think that's probably ready. All Let's right. take a peek at it. Let's Watch see what it. Make sure that's not too hot. There were some uh, there were some potholders around here. Ah, uh, we're tough guys around here. All right, that looks pretty oh, good. That's looking good. Bring it over here. Let's uh, scoop it out. Uh, see if we can get a nice even layer on the top of this casserole All base. All right. Um, and I set this. Is the oven on? I think it is. Let's spread that out nice and evenly. I hope you guys are seeing this. This is, oh, doesn't that look good? It smells great. Oh, yeah. Stove top. Man, you can't beat it. Can't waste any either. You got to get it all in there. That's right. And uh, once you're done spreading that out, you can lick the spoon if you want. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, like I said, once we put it in the oven, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to cook because everything is cooked. So really, you want to put it in the oven long enough where things kind of melt, the cheese melts, things bubble a little bit. And uh, is that hot? It's hot. We're it getting is. there to be. All right. So done. let's put the, uh, the casserole dish into the oven and we'll get that started maybe uh, for 30 minutes or so, maybe less. And uh, we'll take a little break. And we'll, uh, when we come back, we'll pull it out of the oven, do a little taste test, and see how it all turned out. So we'll be right back after this. 